What is the living force in Star Wars? Welcome, this is Star Wars and Philosophy, where we deal with Star Wars from a philosophical point of view. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. There's a watermark right there. You can click at any time during this video to subscribe to the channel. Right over here, we have our schedule on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. We release videos, and um, you can see what those are about right here. You can connect with us on Facebook here and join the discussion, Star Wars and Philosophy. And, of course, uh, we want your comments down below. And some share, You can share some videos over here. Give us that thumbs up. So, what is the living force? This is part of a series that we've done. This is episode 6. I believe, yeah, episode six that we've done diving into the Force in Star Wars. And so we took the broad view of the Force from canon and legends and then compared the two. And so now we're going to start diving into the details, the nuts and bolts of the Force. And so we're going to be diving into different branches of the Force, different worldviews of the Force, and uh, different Force powers and all of those different things. And so to really dive into a deep understanding of the force and what the force is. And so I want you to be part of the discussion. So please give me your views on the force down in the comments below. And so we're going to talk about uh, what is true of both canon and legends for my research. And then what I found was distinct from canon and from legends um, as I went through this. So in both canon and legends, you have the proponents of the living force, such as Qui-Gon Jinn. They espouse the philosophy of living in the moment. That is the big thing with the living force, okay? And we relied heavily on their instincts and concentrated more on sensitivity to living things rather than fulfilling destiny, which was one of the main tenets of the unifying force philosophy. And so you have a contrast right there. The living force is the present moment in what is here, the unifying force, which actually is only in legends. Okay, The unifying force was focused on future and destiny. And so you can hear the echoes of Palpatine and Snoke fulfill your destiny. And even Vader, it seems like a very uh, strong thing with the dark side, uh, the idea of destiny and the future. But the, the living force focuses here on the moments. It was fed from the energy of living things distinct from the cosmic force. And so living things versus dead things. The cosmic force, when somebody dies from this physical existence, they transcend into the cosmic force. So when you have somebody saying I, I, they became one with the force, they're talking about the cosmic force. And so uh, in the cosmic force, you know, that's where they have the force ghost and things like that. And so the energy of all living things. So you can hear the echo of Yoda in Empire Strikes Back as he's teaching Luke about reaching out and tapping into the force and it, it surrounds us and it binds us and it, you know binds us together so that's the the living force there so the jedi believe the living force relied on their instincts and were attuned to other living beings around them they were mindful of the future and the possible consequences of their actions, but remained focused on the present. And so Qui-Gon is kind of the model of the living force um, everywhere you look. And so you can just picture that duel with Darth Maul where he actually ends up dying or becoming one with the force. He was the first one who actually achieved that, by the way, um, at least in canon. Um, and so... Uh, in that duel, he keeps on stopping and meditating. Every chance that he gets, he's meditating. He's focusing on the present. So that, that's the idea of the living force. And so he wasn't as concerned with his destiny, which I think is ironic because then he becomes the one who's the first who achieves immortality, so to speak, by becoming one with the force. And 
So the living force was thought to be present in most living things surrounding and penetrating them, thus making all living things connected by it. It made possible the phenomenon of force spirits. And so that's interesting. Uh, so the way that you lived your life in this life determined whether you could become a force spirit, force ghost. And so that's where Qui-Gon's philosophy sets him up for that success. Through following the living force, several Jedi were able to retain their identities after their physical death, becoming one with the force and able to manifest themselves as force ghosts. So now from canon, uh, what I got is distinct. And so you got this, this quote from Qui-Gon Jinn, all energy from the living force, from all, from all things that have ever lived, feeds into the cosmic force, binding everything and communicating to us through the midichlorians. Because of this, I can speak to you now. Okay, and that was him, the spirit of Qui-Gon, talking with Yoda. And he's explaining how the living force feeds into the cosmic force and so if you were attuned to the living force, then you could feed into the cosmic force. And but it was bound everything together through the midichlorians, which, of course, a lot of people kind of buck against the whole idea of the midichlorians. Qui-Gon was a very big proponent of the whole midichlorian thing. And that's a big, that's a big part of the living force. But the living force was an aspect of the force. Okay, so it's, it's part of the whole. And that's the big difference between canon and legends, as we talked about with the Force, is that um, in canon, you have the living force and the cosmic force. And it's just those two, and the living force is connected to the cosmic force, and it's an aspect of it, okay? But in legends, you have uh, the living force is a view of the force, so you have, you know, living force, cosmic force, unifying force, and physical force, and students would have to choose a, a branch of the force that they wanted to major in, so to speak, as they were getting their Jedi training. And so you would have to choose a master appropriately. You would focus in appropriately. That would determine, kind of like the lightsaber styles were distinct amongst different Jedi and Sith. The same thing in, can in Legends with their, their view of the Force. So this is a worldview difference versus an aspect difference. And that's the distinction. And so Sabla Mandibu, the, uh, the quote, the living Force allows Jedi to connect with the plants and animals that inhabit the world around them. So it was really just like this, the, the physical world here, that's the living Force. So those who focused on that were focused more on the manipulation. Um, and so one thing that was distinct in my research for the legends, but I believe it's also very much uh, seen in canon, the living force was viewed as having both the light and the dark side. The Jedi always had to be mindful of their actions to avoid temptations to the dark side. And so I, I don't think that's really distinct or separate from canon uh, because you have Yoda very clearly telling Luke that he needs to beware the pull, the temptation of the dark side. And that uh, the, when you tap into the force, you're tapping into the force which has, um, you know, it has light and dark in it. And so I want to know what you have to say about all of this. What do you think about the living force? How do you understand the living force? How do you understand the force in general? Is there something that you want me to cover in this series that I haven't covered? Um, I would love to hear what you will have to say, and I will make sure I reply to every comment. I'll be checking back later. And so make sure that you can subscribe and thumbs up, enable notifications if you want to be notified when I release a video, connect with us on Facebook, share the videos with your friends. There's more in the descriptions down below for you to connect with. And also YouTube's going to be recommending a video just for you, I think right here at the end of this video. So until next time, may his power be with you.